fighting for NRP, the performance party. The other party a comedy like them one for come in. So we got to preserve where we got. See, sweet every three of it take it back. We need more jobs for the youth from the black. More positivity, no negativity. Oh, Lord, love for the ladies and the babies. Everybody, we need a better Navis. A better Navis, a better Navis. Whoa, we voting for NRP, the performance party. The other party, a comedy like them one for coming movie. We vote NRP, the performance party. The other party, a comedy like them one for coming movie. Them. Oh, yeah. So show me your one if you're voting. Show me your one if you're voting. Far and RP, you know we're voting. Sister Janice, you know we're voting. Voting, voting, voting. Oh, la, 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 la. Hey. Oh, yeah. I'm voting for NRP, the performance party. The other party, a comedy like them one for your coming movie. We vote NRP. The performance party, the other party a comedy, whoa. I got this feeling, feeling wonderful feeling. Let me see the and them not a touch the ceiling. NRP, the pant up again. I got this feeling, feeling wonderful feeling. Keep the faith and keep on believing. We overcome this stress one day. Nervous. Reformation party. NRP. Sister Janice. We voting. Get out the corruptions. Oh, hey, 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 show me one. I say we tired. Oh, Lord, we too tired. We want to change, we tired. I say we tired, and we tired, and we tired, and we tired, and we can't take it again. Rush. I'm on me tired, and we tired, and we tired, and we tired, and we can't take it again. So we move in. Forward, forward, forward. Move the country. Forward, forward, forward. Wind in our pain. Forward, 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 how we go away? Forward, 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 too long. It's lies and mama guy, too long. Empty promises in we eyes, too long. You ignoring the people cry, too long. All your days since 2013. And you don't do nothing, only when election time coming. That's when poor people does get something from all that bitch and pass. What you selling? Them actions they telling. All you feel like nevisions begging. It's time to call off the wedding. We don't meet that this time. It ain't working. Because we tired and we tired and we tired and we tired and we can't take it again. For people tired and they tired and they tired and they tired and they can't take it again. The youth them tired and they tired and they tired and they tired and they can't take it again. Nevisions tired and they tired and they tired and they tired and they can't take it again. So we move in forward. Forward, forward, move the country. Forward, 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 we can our pay. Forward, 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 how we go away. Forward, forward, forward. Time for all you to leave. We want to see vision and progress. With Cleon, we're going to achieve. The party youth guaranteed success. No longer can we ignore. The efficient the good parliament. Cleon causing our uproar. Government. Patricia and I live down in the south, Cleon and Jade in the west, Big Chan is up in the north, the NRP team in high Chan is Daniel will move us forward, 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 Rohan Isles will move us forward, 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 Patricia Bartlett will move us forward, 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 Cleon Simmons will move us forward, 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 Jade Kings will move us forward, forward, Forward. NRP will move us forward, forward, forward. The NRP will move us forward, forward, forward. NRP will move us forward, forward, forward. NRP will move us forward, forward. The best party. The people tired and they tired and they tired and they tired and they can't take it again. The youths them tired and they tired and they tired and they tired and they can't take it again. The visions tired and they tired and they tired and they tired and they can't. Again, moving forward, 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 move the country, forward, 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 with in our play, forward, 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 how we go away, forward, forward, forward. NRP, Navis Reformation Party. We put Navis first. We put 
Davis first. Dr. Janice. Dr. Janice. Our party leader. Our party leader. Oh, them are gonna stop them speed up. Them can. Ooh. And RP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, 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 these are the things we gonna do for you. NRP puts Nevis and its people first. Positivity and inclusivity, not negativity and divisiveness. Witness the rise of a green and blue economy that will benefit all the people of Nevis. NRP brings projects and completes projects for the people. Only NRP can deliver renewable energy, food security and job sustainability. We understand the necessity of small businesses and will offer every support. Better educational opportunities through scholarships and applicable technology. Your health is our major concern. All will come to Nevis under NRP. NRP, Nevis Reformation Party. Change must come, not just to some, but to all. NRP, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. NRP, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. NRP, yeah, yeah, yeah. What we voting for? Uh, NRP party, what we voting for? But change gonna come to all not some. Tell all the youths, time for your fun. Tell Uncle Benji, pass me liquor rum. Oh, la, la.
Good evening, everybody, and good evening to the people of the Nevis Reformation Party. We welcome you this evening to the start of the campaign of with public meetings. So this is the launch of our public meetings, and we are starting here at Jessup's, and we say to all of you, welcome and thank you very much for taking some time to come to share with the Nevis Reformation Party. Bro brothers and sisters, we have an election on December 12th. And this election, we must win. Do you agree with me that we have to win this election? <laughs> we have to win this election. <laughs> and so, brothers and sisters, members and friends of the Nevis Reformation Party, we invite you to journey with us in these next 10, 11 days so that you could be well informed and well prepared to make the change that we so badly need in Nevis. And so we have all of our candidates here. Let us give a round of applause to all the candidates of the Nevis Reformation Party. We have in Charlestown to make some gains with Keynes. Charlestown number one. Let's welcome J.D. Keynes in number one. And we welcome Dr. Patricia Bartlett in number two. And we welcome Rohan Isles in number three. And we welcome the party leader, Dr. Janice Daniel Hodge, in number four. And in number five, we have Cleone Stapleton Simmons. So we have a dream team coming from the Nevis Reformation Party. And we say to you, when you match up, our team against the other team, we see a difference. So we are going to go to government to represent the people of the country well, to have accountability and responsibility as our watchwords. And we are going to carry all of you with us, women, children, young, old, and in between. This is the party of the people of the country. After 52 years in operation, we are sure that we represent the ideals and ideas of the people of Nevis. And that is why on the 12th, December 12, we are saying to you, vote with us, vote in the Nevis Reformation Party for all of our candidates. We have a number of things planned right throughout the week. But every day, beginning today, we are going to have a public meeting to carry the message of the Nevis Reformation Party. And so we ask of you, our friends, are you ready to change the government? Are you ready to change the government? That's not loud enough. Are you ready to change the government? And so we have five change agents that I've just mentioned, and we are asking you to give them your full support during this election. You know, brothers and sisters, as we prepare to change the government, when anybody asks you what you're thinking, NRP. Where are you going, NRP? Make sure that is on your mind from now until December 12th. And we must get started. And since JD is number one in number one, we are going to invite JD to speak to you. JD Keynes, come and speak to us. Tell us about the games with Keynes. Join me in welcoming the candidate and the next representative for Charlestown, Miss 
J.D. Keynes. Promise, me no see the girl if you run up on my panic. Now watch your pretty face, head be open like a bunny. You don't see me exclusive. And in the game, I play me a few weeks coming at the closest. Hey, Papa, six people! Jets up, people! Make some noise! We want to wake up everybody in their homes tonight. Y'all ask for campaign, campaign start now. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to get the formalities out of the way. My name is J.D. Keynes, and I am the next parliamentary representative for Charlestown, Nevis One, St. Paul. Now that we have that established, let us get on to business. Because I know I need to make sure that you understand and you know who I am. I am not speaking in past tense. I am speaking in present tense. I am speaking in future tense because I know that the people of Charlestown, they want gains and they're going to get it with J.D. Keynes. Listen, listen, let me tell you all something. I ain't come to play. I ain't come to play. This thing is serious. I did not give up my warm bed tonight to come to Jessup's to farm fool. I did not give up time with my child to run for a party because I don't think that we can do it. I am doing this because I recognize that Nevis needs rescuing and it is going to take. It is going to take a Nevis Reformation Party to bring about that rescue. Do you believe me? Do you agree with me? Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, the focus is going to be on the Honorable Cleo and Stapleton Simmons. Well, I, I forgot that the house has been dissolved, so we're supposed to just say Cleo and Stapleton Simmons. However, we know that she will be again the Honorable Cleo and Stapleton Simmons. Let me tell you something. When Cleon was elected, remember it was a by election. When Cleon was elected, Cleon began working immediately. And when I saw the things that Cleon was able to do, I said, but no. Cleon behaving like she's in government. And that is what she did from a seat in opposition. And remember, she was the lone opposition representative, the lone opposition parliamentarian. And they tried all kind of things. They went in the house, they tried to bully her. But she stood her ground, and she's going to stand her ground again because she knows that she is there to represent the people of St. Thomas's. Cleon has chosen as her theme, moving forward with Cleon. When you move forward with Cleon, you will get a greater sense of community spirit. A greater sense of community engagement, people. We know that the people of St. Thomas's have tried to be very together over the years. We see it whenever there is a competition. You come out in your numbers and you rally behind your people. But what has happened of late? We recognize that there are some agents who are trying to bring division in this great constituency. And that will not work. Say it will not work. It will not work. And the reason why it will not work is because we are moving forward with Cleon in constituency number five. It was the Honorable Cleon Stapleton Simmons that began scholarships in the names of ordinary people from this area. That is vision that takes foresight. 
and she didn't need the backing of the government to do it. Some persons can only perform when they have the backing of the government. Cleon proved to you, proved to all of us that she could perform without the backing of the government. Limited funds, limited resources, but the girl bright. And the girl is a people person. And so she was able to bring her brilliant ideas and go out and execute. Are you moving forward with Cleone in number five? Cleone has offered assistance to schools and the vulnerable families. She was able to do this because she is a part of the community. She didn't have to stay outside and looking and wonder what is going on. She is a parent, and so she understands what the schools need. Remember, she was also a teacher, a trained teacher at that. So she understands what the schools need. As it relates to vulnerable families, she will tell you that she is from simple and humble beginnings. And so she understands what people are going through and that is why she has offered assistance to schools and vulnerable families are you moving forward with cleone number five <laughs> ladies and gentlemen that is just the tip of the iceberg when she comes she will sell herself and i know she is capable of doing that notice i said she will sell herself not sell her soul she will not sell her soul because as much as we want to win in the Nevis Reformation Party, we want to be able to sleep comfortably at night. And so, bear in mind, when you go to the polls, understand, understand that elections have consequences. Understand what you are voting for. It is not about who you like. It is not about who gave you $500 today. Because guess what? Tomorrow you are going to need some additional funds. And next week you are going to need additional funds. It is about who will teach you to fish so that you can fish and feed your family. Not who will give you a fish just for today. And I maintain that when I look at the ticket, when I look at the slate of candidates, the Nevis Reformation Party has the best team. And let me tell you why I say that. We don't have a group of candidates who are all good in a single area. Think about it. When you consider our collective backgrounds, you would recognize, man, if we were to send all five of these candidates to parliament, Nevis will be the envy of the Caribbean. Don't you think so? Imagine, if you don't believe me, allow me to break it down. You have in myself someone who is passionate about education. Someone who is passionate about training. Someone who has worked year after year without pay in culture. Someone who understands information and communications technology. And the list goes on. That is what you'll find in your candidate for number one. And I maintain that I am number one in constituency number one. Moving up to constituency number two, we have Dr. Patricia Bartlett, someone who has given her years to community service, to public service, someone who gives without looking for anything in return. It's not everything that Dr. Patricia Bartlett does, you see on camera, because she's doing it from her heart. It's the selfless nature of the lady, the good doc. So we have someone with experience in healthcare, with experience in veterinary medicine, and you still don't believe that we have the best and most diverse ticket? Okay, let's go up to constituency number three, where we have put a strong, masculine man, emphasis on that, to run for you. And by the way, St. Thomas's, you recognize that when you vote for the Nevis Reformation Party, that you will be the creme de la creme in the sense that you will have not one, but two persons there looking after your interests. Because for those who do not know, Rohan Isles was brought up in this very constituency. So imagine that. You don't have one, but you have two. 
In Rohan, we have a former teacher, someone who has given years to education, someone who is passionate about sport and community and social development. I tell you, our ticket is diverse. Let's go to constituency number four, where I am proud of my party leader because Never before have we had a party leader with this kind of background, this level of expertise. When you look at the direction that the world is going in terms of climate change and resilience and economic development and all of these great things, I am saying that we have the right person in Dr. Janice Daniel Hodge to take the island of Nevis forward. And then we come home to constituency number five. We have a legal mind. We have a legal mind. So nobody going to tie us up. We have a legal mind in the Honorable Cleo and Stapleton Simmons. We also have a former teacher. We have somebody who is invested in the community. And that is why I maintain that the NRP has the best ticket, the most diverse ticket. Do you, be, do you agree with me? So ladies and gentlemen, I am not going to take up too much of your time because I know we have other speakers tonight and it is not about me. It is going to be about me this coming Saturday though. It is going to be about me this coming Saturday. So I want all of you to make sure that on Saturday you head on up to Hamilton because as I tell, as I tell the person here tonight, I'm going to show myself up in Hamilton. I am going to show myself up in Hamilton because no matter what they do, no matter what they try, no Johnny come late, Lee is going to take Hamilton from me. When I tell you that constituency number one belongs to me, believe it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you, feel, you, you, you realize how energized I am? I've been waiting for this for a long time. Monday morning, I woke up and I told my daughter, babes, you realize that this is two weeks before elections? Because I, you know, I try to keep her involved. She said, yeah, mommy, are you ready to rumble? I said, yes, yes, star, mommy, ready to rumble. And trust me, rumbling is what we will do until the last vote is counted because we are not going to stop when the polls close because we're going to make sure that we watch them. We are going to make sure that we watch them. So for those of you who are wondering what role is there for you, understand that we need you to mark a man. We need you to keep your eyes open. You remember the last election with the Honorable Cleo and Stapleton Simmons where some hanky-panky was being tried? And it was the good people of St. Thomas's who stood up and said, no, not this time, not with Tara, not with Cleone. We call her Tara sometimes. And that is the kind of energy, that is the kind of vibrancy that we want. Because this election must be fear. This election must be fear. And so we can't do it alone. Some of you are prayer warriors. And I want you, when you pray, to lift up all of us and our families in your prayers to ensure that no weapon formed against any candidate of the Nevis Reformation Party shall prosper. Ladies and gentlemen, in the area of education, we are going to deliver. We are going to deliver. We recognize that there is need for not just education, but training. And so we are telling you that our young men and women are going to be certified in varying skills. Because once they are certified, once they have their skills, they can provide for themselves and their families. And so they will not be out here begging you, give me a little walk today. And then you don't see people again for another five years. That is not what's going to happen. Because under the Nevis Reformation Party, we are going to reach these vulnerable groups. We are going to reach these people who have potential and are interested in skills. And we are not just talking about the men. Because we have ladies who are interested in skills training. How do we sound, people? We are 
are going to ensure that our children and understand that we, it, it's going to be rolled out. So we'll start with one constituency and roll out to the next. But we are going to ensure that parents don't have to worry about things like school meals for the children because the NRP understands that we have a role to play in ensuring that our children have healthy meals. That is one of the things that we have committed to doing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to ensure that our schools have a system of upgrading, not just waiting until two weeks before school open to be doing renovations. These are just, a, these are just snippets of what the NRP plans to roll out. And for those who have been following, understand that education will not end at the Nevis Sixth Form College. We know many persons have ambition to go further and we are going to help you get there. And so if it means that you can stay here and pursue your tertiary education, it is the NRP that is going to deliver that for you. We are a party of peace, progress, and prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's okay if they steal our ideas. You know why? Because it is for the voters to recognize who implemented those ideas. So if they want to go thief the ideas in 10 days, and you want to believe that they thief the ideas so they are doing good, that is up to you. But I know that the voters of the Nevis Reformation Party, I know that the people of Nevis, by extension, are fed up of this inept government. And whether they do work today, or the day before an election, change must come. So I am not afraid to let them out. I am not afraid to say what the NRP is going to do because no matter what they try, no matter what they do, we voting them out come December 12th. Are you with me? I'll touch on one more area and that is the area of healthcare. Ladies and gentlemen, you see that hospital? You see that hospital, ladies and gentlemen? Listen, we have to take politics out of certain things. And healthcare is one that should have no politics in it. And that is why I am offended when this administration took over and they decided they will not move forward with the dialysis units because they were put there by the Nevis Reformation Party. But you see this NRP? This is a party of class. And so we recognize that if there is any idea out there that is being pursued by the current administration, and it makes sense, and it is feasible, we will say, yes, this is good for Nevis, and move on. Because that is progression. That is the Nevis Reformation Party. Talk about our, our hospital. I am saying we will not come and show paint on a building that is far from ready and tell you that you are getting a brand new hospital. That is deception. And that is this current administration. The NRP is committed to completing what has started. It may mean that we need to get some people in to offer some guidance. We may need to get some of the people on the ground to help guide us because we know that they have made a disaster of what is there. And don't fool yourself, the architect is sitting in their cabinet. The architect is sitting in their cabinet. So many of you who like to say, many of you who like to say, Lord, I like this one, I like this one, they're nice. Remember, the architect is sitting in the cabinet. So when you go to the hospital and there are certain basic things you can't get, remember, the architect is sitting in cabinet. When you realize that you have to go to a container to get your CT scan machine, not in the new building, remember, the architect is sitting in the cabinet. When you have to go overseas to get certain treatments that could be done right here at home, remember, the architect is sitting in the cabinet. Ladies and gentlemen, as I wind down, let us do a roll call. Let us do a roll call. <laughs> If you want gains, if you want gains, you are tired of the current representative and you want gains in Nevis 1 and that means you will be voting for Keynes. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Okay, okay, okay. If you believe that Dr. Pat has the right prescription
man. She is the doc with the right prescription. Let me hear you. If you believe that Rohan is the only man with the plan, make some noise. If you believe that Dr. Janice Daniel Hodge will be the first female premier of Nevis, make some noise. In constituency number five, DJ, keep the noise under me. Keep the noise under me, DJ. In constituency number five. Come on, I want noise. In constituency number five. If you are moving forward with Cleon, make some noise. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have been a wonderful audience. Be sure to follow us to Newcastle tomorrow when we rally behind our party leader. I am J.D. Keynes, your next parliamentary representative for Nevis One Charlestown. Good night. Have you gotten the gains with Keynes? <laughs> so you agree that we will have some gains with Keynes? And I agree with JD because I agree with Ellie Matt. Don't worry if they copy your ideas, say like Ellie Matt, you can't continue if you never did start and we shall be in the magazine. So don't worry. Don't worry, they can continue with the programs of the Nevis Reformation Party. One of the reasons why they stopped the things we were doing, they don't have a clue as to what we were doing. And I see Floris in the audience, and he, he used to say they are helpless, clueless, and useless. And so, brothers and sisters, the temperature is rising. And we are serious about taking the reins of government. And as I say, for the next 10 days, anybody ask you what you're thinking? NRP. Anybody ask you how you're doing? NRP. Anybody ask you where you're going? NRP. Anybody ask you what you're cooking? NRP. Anybody ask you what you're drinking? NRP. Anybody ask you what you eating? NRP. So you hear me? No matter where you going, NRP. And so, brothers and sisters, we are heading to Gingerland. Lord, I like the description that JD gave. We have a masculine man in Gingerland. And so I am going to call the masculine man for Gingerland, and his name is Rohan. So let us welcome the masculine man named Rohan. St. Thomas says good night. From your bread basket, bands got comes Rohan. Comes Rohan. Rohan. Rohan.
Johan. A simple message. Simple message. Candidate in this race. St. Thomas says there is only one candidate in this race because the other party has no interest in St. Thomas. You know, Cleone has been the government in St. Thomas's for a while. It has been Cleone was delivered for the people of St. Thomas's time and time again because she understands what representation is. Could you imagine 23 years under that party and Cleone has outdone them in two years? And if she can do that in two years, recognize and appreciate what will come to you five and 10 and 15 years down the road because NRP is here and here to stay for a very long time. St. Thomas says, your son is saying to you, get ready for a revolution you have never seen because we are counting canes in one. We are counting the dock in two. And I tell you, tell them I'm coming too because number three belongs to me. Number four, for sure, belongs to JDH. And number five, the queen. The queen is alive and the hive is prime and ready to defend her territory. Oh, they didn't know what was going to happen. Since 2021, we've been applying pressure. Easy, so we've been applying pressure. JD came, pressure. The duck came, more pressure. When I reach the center, nobody can vote for me. Tell them go back to 2022 and count them. Tell them go back to 2022 and count them. Because I see and I recognize now that there is a particular individual who find campaign irrelevant. Oh, he's tired now. But pressure coming. Ginger and I'm saying to you, morning, afternoon, and night for the next two weeks, look for me because I'm coming to deliver a message of hope. I'm coming to deliver a message of prosperity. And I'm coming to deliver to you an Avis Reformation Party that believes in the inclusion of all of us. You see in St. Thomas's? <laughs> Lord, we're counting from five. The counting begins from five on December 12th. The first elected representative will be the Honorable Cleon Stapleton Simmons. So number five, get ready. Get in your trance and get ready because we're going to collect. We're going to collect and we're going to collect the party leader. And we are going to make history when we elect the first female premier from, well, the first female premier ever. Listen, enough things are going on with the NRP. Yeah? Enough things are going on with the NRP. Yeah? You see what I'm to them, they can't hitch no scandal to the sticky. They can't find nothing to put pan way back. I tired wait for the files to come. They send the bullies to attack me and I smile. I say, Freddy, if I that are your best, go back to preschool. I have come through them kind of things. You got to come better than that. But I stand in humility because I know what I can deliver in confidence and surety to the people of this country. They had no interest over here. I remember the good gentleman from Cotton Ground. He used to campaign in St. Thomas's all by himself. All by himself. But all of a sudden, all of a sudden there is a great interest in St. Thomas's. Tell them I say, this ain't no battleground. This is a sure ground that belongs to Cleon Stableton Simmons. 
You can't come here with your late interest. You can't come with your late interest and want people to believe that you so believe in the people of St. Thomas. Let me tell you something. They came to the bands that I love and they said, we're going to give you a basketball court because the young people had long agitated for it. Well, that was the promise. Then they come back and say, land too expensive in a band's got. <laughs> land too expensive in a band's got. But this is the same political party that granted alien land holding license to somebody to buy nearly all the land surrounding band's got. When you want to come tell people about land swap, tell them land swap is a clear idea. Tell them land swap is something she brought to us. So they could continue to try to thieve. Listen, there's a list of things that don't try trying to thieve. I tell them I'm going to renovate the public market. The fly go. Fly go. But I don't tell them enough things going to happen in a ginger land. The problem is they can't thieve them because their brand. I don't, I don't want to use that. They are new. And it is the people of Gingerland, and this is what is burning him. His people have said to me, this is what we want, and we want you to deliver it. <laughs> Enough energy and vibes on the NRV platform. Huh? You ready? Long time I ready. They didn't know what was coming. Them cheap, weak shots, they think they're not going to deter who? Who they been supposed to deter? Me? When I have come with purpose, with vision and understanding, when I tell people I come from a place where I know how you people are suffering, I'm not saying it because I want to say it. I am saying because I know it to be true. When I tell people I've known days when the only thing in my fridge was water, I am saying it because I know it is true. When I tell them I didn't know where the next meal came from, I'm saying it because I know it to be true. And that is why I have so much passion and energy for families that are struggling because I understand where they're coming from. Tell them I say better is coming. Better is coming with the NRP. I want to tell the people of St. Thomas's and I want none at all. And if I claim in the letter when I look down my hands down to my side because I'm bringing you up with me. I want to tell you the people of St. Thomas's and my extension, the people of Nevis. You've got to go out and vote. Your future calls you to embrace a change that sets your family, your community, and your island on a path to sustain prosperity. You can no longer say your vote doesn't count because if five of you, 500 of you, have that same mentality, then your vote can't count. But your one vote can make a difference. Ginger and your one vote can make a difference. St. Thomas says that one vote can make a difference. St. John's that one vote can make a difference. St. Paul's that one vote can make a difference. St. James that one vote can make a difference. Get up, wake up, and get out to vote. My friends, we cannot take another five years of an administration that spent 20 million dollars and took five years to put a hospital in a coma. We can't afford that. We can't take five more years of a government that said to you they're going to bring a world-class peer facility for six million and then give you a peer and tell you be happy with that because both could duck. That can't be good enough. I remember they campaigned long and hard on the cost of living. And since they assumed government, the cost of living has skyrocketed out of the reach of ordinary people. Dr. Bartlett, are you ready to restore? 
a cost of living to people that they can be comfortable with. This is a party of vegan vitality, a party with understanding and compassion. That our people must be the focal point of every decision made. And we are not just saying it because our record proves it. I see some talking about homework assistance program. Tell them he's not happy to do that. Tell them how we bring that. And I see them want to talk about community centers. How we bring that. And we did not get to bring the programs. But JD is coming with education. I am coming with community development. Cleon says there is small business opportunities. Jenny says if you're into fishing, come. And Dr. Bartlett says that poverty rate is going down, down, down. The NRP is here for you. We have delivered consistently in our time in government. I want you to tell your friends about our intentions. St. Thomas is get ready for your deliverance in future homes, in our future homes program. That is going to grant young people an opportunity to own homes and not just own homes, but the opportunity to power your own home with solar energy. Affordable homes, really affordable homes. Not this kind of affordable that when you don't pay a mortgage, there is nothing left but enough to buy a sweetie. That can't be affordable. Affordable means that we can take care of our families and we can save. That is affordable. That is what the NRP is setting to deliver to the people of St. Thomas's and the people of Nice. We went to Taiwan. We because they represent us. And one would have thought they would have come back with news of new developments. Nothing come. No surprise. But this NRP is setting up to partner with our friends in the Republic of China and Taiwan to deliver an institute to our young people that will give them the opportunity to explore technology, science and research because we know we are among the best and the brightest in the region. We must grant our young people opportunity to develop themselves and to take care of them, their families. Jerry, they talk about schools. I want to tell you the technological advancement of our schools is coming. I want to tell you the young people going back to Gingerland, and I love to go to Gingerland because when I talk about what Gingerland has said to me, they get upset. In Gingerland, and I'm sure like here in St. Thomas, is yeah, young people are into mechanic, car wash, fishing, and they say they ain't want to do no small fishing, they want to do fishing by trawlers. And those are things NRP want to hear. We want to be challenged by young people to come up with ideas and to put our creative energies at work because our government is, an, is not a lazy government. We are a working government and are calling it from day one we begin to work. The opportunities for our young people must come and they will come under the Nevis Reformation Party. I want to tell you, let me, I want to introduce you, there's nothing with climbing the ladder. Nothing, there's not a thing wrong with climbing the ladder. Nothing is wrong with climbing the ladder. But I want to say to you, when you have climbed the ladder, reach down, reach down, and grab somebody to come with you. That is the purpose of your journey. And that is what the NRP is about. I want to introduce you to a family program you're going to launch called CAP. Child Assistance and Advancement Program. Free school meals with an addition of a breakfast program. Free bus services. I know some school children in different areas don't have luxury of the bus. That is coming. The one-to-one -one smart device, I know we say one-to-one -one laptop, but you know, young people in this era, we might deliver the laptop and they ask us, what that? But one-to-one -one smart device, we will return the homework assistance, we are going to provide community Wi-Fi hotspots 
to those families who cannot afford Wi-Fi, uniform assistance, and we are going to improve the family basket of goods and services because there are so many of our families that are struggling to meet the demands of today. Friends, they gave me 10 minutes, but I feel like on fire. Oh, you feel like on fire. And when I you prime me up, you know, like a doggy, when I you turn me off, I don't know how to turn me on, I don't know how to turn off. But I want to tell you, Nivisions, the opportunity rests in the palm of your hands. It is time for you to access it, grab it, and move in one accord with the Nevis Reformation Party. Accept your prosperity because we are about to deliver it to you. <laughs> They said our be serious business. And we're lighting a fire under this place called Nevis. Yeah. See how long we are behind no shoe and no mic flying. No way. Because we are a God fearing people. None of us here going to man no gate to hell to ask anybody if things good done there. Nobody JD ain't man in the gate of hell. I ain't man in the gate of hell. Pat ain't man in the gate of hell. Cleon ain't man in the gate of hell. None of us because Janice ain't going nowhere near the gate of hell. I wonder would be sorely disappointed if I made such a comment. I'd probably get a shoe for that. I want to tell you. I want to tell you, St. Thomas is, and I want to tell you, Nevis, I have come to elective politics, a humble young man who grew up in a quiet little village called Barnsgut. I come to this race armed with the love of a woman who planted a dream in her son. That one day he would rise from the ashes of poverty and the seclusion. That dream has brought purpose to this young man. Purpose to do the unbelievable. Mount the insurmountable. Remove all obstacles placed in the pursuit of service to people. Gingerland, I want you to hear me. I have come not as a perfect human but as a perfect candidate. Not as a perfect candidate, but as a perfect opportunity to grant you sustained prosperity. My friends, the dream now gives rise to hope. A hope that must fill the hearts of nevisions. That would cause them to open their eyes and see Open their minds and receive. Open their hearts and feel that this time it is their time to receive prosperity. Not some of us, but all of us. And the Nevis Reformation Party is the party to deliver that for you. I want to tell you Finally, that if you are once a supporter of the NRP and you decided to give the other side a try, I understand and we welcome you back home. It is good to have you back home. I want to say to you if you have long voted CCM and the past nine years hasn't been good to you. There is enough space under this umbrella. Come to us. We welcome you with open arms because there is enough prosperity in the land of your birth that you too can enjoy the fruits of your labor. And if you have stayed the course and you have voted with us even though you were vexed but never blue. You have stayed with us. We want to say thank you. We appreciate you. 
Nevis as the sun rises and sets, so does the future of this island rest in the palm of your hands. Find the strength and courage to move your body. Get up and get out on the 12th of December. The change you desire is yours. But you must grab it firmly and vote for the NRP. Because we are set again to deliver for you peace, progress, and prosperity. St. Thomas's, I am Rohan Michael Isles. I'll see you in Gingerland. When I look around this island, I see progress and prosperity. Development in every angle, a piece of it just for you and me. What a force of positive thinking from the men of the NRP. In the darkest time, they're still shining. Let's give it up for the Green Party. Well, 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 Rohan is on fire. Give him a round of applause. Hands up for Rohan. Hands up for Rohan. <laughs> Rohan reminds the people of St. Thomas's. There are three things I want to remind you what Rohan says. Rohan says St. Thomas is no battleground. St. Thomas is sure ground. Then Rohan says you must claim your prosperity. And you know why we have to give him a big round of applause? He says, Gingerland people say, come let me tell you what we want you to do for us. That is remarkable. So they leave the other fellow behind and they are moving forward with Rohan Michael Isles. Give him a round of applause. Brothers and sisters, we are on a roll for the first meeting. So imagine after we crank up tonight, we are in full gear in the Nevis Reformation Party. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, we want to thank all of you for coming and to remind you, to remind your friends that bad governments are elected by good people who do not vote. Bad governments are elected by good people who do not vote. So encourage your cousin, your friend, your auntie, your grandchildren, whoever they are, to come out and vote for the Nevis Reformation Party. Also, to our friends from across the Caribbean, from the Bahamas right down to Guyana, Jamaica, all of them, the OECS, the NRP tent is broad enough, wide enough, and there is room under the green tent of the Nevis Reformation for all of you, whether you come from St. Lucia, St. Vincent, Grenada, Dominica, Trinidad, Guyana, or Jamaica, we have room for you inside the Nevis Reformation Party. So tell all of our friends, all of our brothers and sisters from across the Caribbean, walk with us, vote with us, in the Nevis Reformation Party, we are all one people with one destiny. And we say to you, there is room under the tent of the Nevis Reformation Party. Just for information's sake, if you don't have your voter's ID, you can get a voter. If you have your old voter's ID and it is expired, you can go to the electoral office and get it printed right away. All right? That is what I was, I went there yesterday to make sure you can get your old ID printed immediately. Normally it's two months, but you can get it right away. If you don't have your voter's ID, vote with your passport. Vote with your social security card. Vote with your driver's license. No matter what they say and do, we are going to vote on the 12th of December for the Nevis Reformation Party. 
Are you with me on this? No matter what happens, we are going to vote for the Nevis Reformation Party. And so, brothers and sisters, we had JD, who is number one in number one. We are going to call Patricia, who is number one in number two. So, DJ, let us bring home now to speak to us Dr. Patricia Bartlett, put your hands together and join me in bringing the fella he up and down in St. John's telling people, me no want no woman beat me, but we gon' bang him in St. John's. We gon' bang him. You agree with me? We gon' bang him in St. John's. Patricia, come to speak to us. You know, when JD spoke about Cleon, she was saying all these nice things about Cleon. And Cleon did this, Cleon did that, and I'm like, yeah, that's Cleon. But the part she didn't tell you guys, which St. Thomas's people should know, is that Cleon is a fighter. I don't mean she's gonna fight on the and brawl, but she's gonna fight for you. When you hear people talk about when you hear Cleon speaks, Cleon is going to tell you, you got to be radical. And for this election, people, you're going to got to be radical. You see me? You see me? They try to intimidate me. But I am playing with them. I am not playing with them. They need to get some manners. I've been getting all kind of calls. People been saying to be calling, they're concerned be because they heard that I was attacked. And my simple submission to them was, I am all right. Because, and my response, you know, my response was simple because all in I'm a vet, right? So my response was quite simple. I understand animals. So when the lion say that somebody step on his tail, is a lot of pressure that the lion under. And I know how animals react because he, he didn't just step on the tail. We corner him. And you know when they get cornered, what they do? They want to lash out. And that is all it was. Lashing out. Want to call me all kind of names. Names I ain't even know if I had. But one thing I want to say to the good gentleman, you can't define me. Nobody's going to define who I am. I am who I am. I have always been a strong black woman, and I will continue to be a strong black woman. So, for the men who don't know the place and want to go on and cuss women and cuss everybody, I tell them, back off, not here. You're not intimidating me. You're not intimidating NRP. Because a couple of weeks, a couple of months ago, they say NRP dead. They say NRP dead a couple of months ago. But look for them today. Everywhere we go, they're following us. Always, they can't do without talk about NRP. Everything for them is NRP this, NRP that. Because what? They're scared. And when animals get scared, what they do? They say right there and they lash out. So I understand that. So as my grandmother was say, would say, show what upon that. So for all of you who've been calling, nobody call. Patricia Bartlett is okay. Check the other side. They're gonna need, they're gonna need some attention. Not me, I good. No, I came here tonight because about a year and something ago, 
I introduce myself to the people of Brown Hill, in Brown Hill, and the people of St. John's, and I said, I want to be your representative. And why did I want to be their representative? Because things were not going right, and I had to get involved. Because I have a passion for service. I have a passion for service of my people because I can't go to bed at night with my belly full and know that my neighbor and their children are going to bed hungry. And so that is what drives me. That is not what drives some other people. And so they're scared. They've never offered any service to the community. And so when somebody step on the scene now who is willing to serve selfishly, what do they do? They want to push you off the stage. But I'm saying that if you're going to have a stage, we're going to have a stage, and this stage named the NRP stage. And we're going to dictate the way. We're going to dictate what we say. We ain't going to come here with no brawl. We ain't in no up, up, up story with nobody. Although we see, mind you, a lot of things going up. Poverty going up. Joblessness going up. All them kind of things they're going up. A lot of things going up, but we're going to stay away from the up 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 story because apparently it offends some people. So we're going to focus. We're going to focus because we have to deliver on behalf of our people. Our people need housing. Somebody asked me, well, why are you always talking about housing? I am talking about housing because I understand the plight of the people who really want affordable housing because that is what it means. I don't want anybody to think that affordable means cheap. I don't want anybody to think that when we say we are building affordable houses for our people, we mean that they are poor houses. Because some people seem to think that that is what it means. It means that when you don't pay for your house, and that is the biggest expenditure anybody would have to give from your salary. After you don't pay your mortgage, you should still be able to live. You should be, still be able to feed your children. And that is what we mean when we say affordable housing. And so nobody is going to get us distracted. So all the noise they make over there, they're going to have to come to the table and explain to Nevis people why after so many years, they're now scrambling to do a couple houses just before an election. You could imagine a place like St. John's. Where every day you see new people coming in. As a matter of fact, they are inviting more and more people into St. John's because they never think that they have a comfortable enough lead in St. John's. So they're always bringing people, but they're not providing the houses. And over so many years, 10 years now, I'm hearing people making reference to seven years. Ain't no seven years. It's 10 years of CCM consistently. 10 years straight. And when we look around, people are still struggling, still do not have affordable housing. And Rohan spoke to you, and he suggested to you that we are going to build smart houses. And now, I don't want to get into the dynamics of this smart housing in the nitty gritty, but all we mean is that whatever house you build, the house is going to help you to pay for it. So it's going to help you to save electricity and water and those kind of things, and you're going to be good. So at the end of the day, you would have been better off investing in one of the smart houses that we would build rather than what people are now calling a housing revolution where nothing is getting better in the product that they're delivering for the people. So that is what we mean when we say we are going to deliver affordable housing, not just in St. John's, but you all need this because we all need to have affordable housing. I want to let you people here know that... Over in a place like Church Grong. I walked to Church Grong yesterday. And the premier claimed that that is his stronghold. I mean, you got to Church Grong, you would have thought that after so many years, he would have delivered on housing. Not even one house the premier was responsible for over in, in, in Church Grong. And then today, he's going to follow behind me. Everywhere I got him and shadowing me. I leave church long. I gone back because I ain't finished my work. I gone back. They say, well, you know who just came? The man following me everywhere I go, saying things tight. Going into church long and saying things tight. And I'll be keep on the pressure. Okay. I say keep on the pressure. Because he ain't deliver nothing for them. Why are you going in there to tell them? Huh? He ain't deliver one house. He do a little piece of road. And that is over 15 years of being a representative. 
So who want him to represent them any further in church ground? So now when we move in, and happy people, we are moving in a new direction. And we need all of you on board. Do not stay home. We have heard that before. If you want affordable housing, come out and make sure that you support the NRP candidates. We want to make sure that we provide jobs for our people. Everywhere I go, I find these young people telling me they've been out of school two years, three years, and still can't find a work. What is going on? They promised us that they were going to bring jobs. They promised us. So that is the least they could have delivered. But we still have so many jobless youths out there. And that is not good enough. But I'm telling you, NRP is going to bring jobs. Because we understand. We understand Brownville Communications over in my hometown. That has been closed now since 2018 under the present premier. And not a thing in the building over there. It's only over there and somebody making sure. Brownhill Communications over there and then making no effort whatsoever. I just went to the VI and when I got on there, somebody said they wanted to come to Nevis. They sent proposal. Why is the premier blocking the Brownhill Communications being opened up so that 150 jobs could be provided for our people? Why he got against us? Why he got against us? All he need to do is bring in the investors. Nobody talking about the investors that he had out there just before the election that can seem to come ashore. We are talking about people who are making proposals, who say we are here to provide job opportunities for our people, and he would rather push them aside because he good. He good, so he cares nothing about our people. And I'm saying to us tonight, if you want change, if you want job opportunities, you better come out. You better come out and make sure that when you go over in St. James's, Dr. Janice Daniel Hodge put your ex to to that name. When you come to St. Thomas's, make sure you put your, ne your ex next to Cleon's name. When you get into Charlestown, make sure you put your ex next to Janice's name. When you get over to St. George's, which they think that they can't lose, we have a surprise for them. Because the big man is going to deliver. And don't worry, I'm going to, do not worry. When you come to St. John's, the game over. The game over. Long time. No matter where he said to get them from, the game over. So he need to understand that tonight. He has not delivered for the people in St. John's. And we're going to make sure that we send him home. Send him home. Game over long time. Because you know what? I've said to the people in St. John's, we are all in this together. We have to all recognize that all of us suffering. Maybe some suffering more than others. But all of us are suffering, and we must pull together and make sure that when NRP comes knocking, you open the door wide because we are bringing good tidings. They keep listening to us. Everywhere we go, they listen to us. They want to get our ideas, so they want to tease us into saying we don't have ideas. Yes, they want to copy everything because I got to Brownhill. I say, you know what? I went on the radio and I said, there's a road down here that I can't even drive on because my shock's mashing up. By the next day, they send a crew over there and they fix the road. So it seems like every day I got to go out and decide. I am the director of works, it seems, in that area now. How them frighten so. But you see, if, if it is that the $500 million they get from Sin Kids, if they had applied wisdom, if they had applied things, fiscal rectitude up to this point, we would have been better off. Anybody here think that we would not have been better off if we had used the $500 million wisely? We would have been way better off. And I don't want I to think that when we talk about the $500 million, that that is the only money they had to spend because it wasn't. They were in this, the same period of time they were taxing me and you. They increased 
the water, the surcharge on the water to cover garbage. Because they cannot get enough money. They could never get their hand on enough money just because they are spending swift. So what we are saying is, in that period of time, don't let them fool you. It's not just the $500 million they would have collected from us. Over $1.7 billion and spent all of it. All of it. And we are no better off. And they don't want us to say that they have mismanaged the money. They have mismanaged the money. But you know what? They are sitting up on the hill and they are comfortable. Comfortable with two salaries and going up, up, up. And what about you and me? We down here, we down here. And we are going down and they seem not to understand what our plight is. But like I said to you at the beginning, I got agitated to get involved because of the level of poverty that I was seeing. And so that is my focus. I'm very passionate about making sure that when I leave government, which is, I don't know, maybe they might have to drag me out of there because after our first term, after our first term, you ain't gonna wanna see the back of us. You're not gonna wanna see the back of us. And so, I know that there's a lot that NRP has to offer. You would have heard about the skill set of our candidates. All of us bring something to the table. We bring something to the table. Nobody have to appoint us. We are going to be all elected. Because come December 12th, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, the chairman don't tell you from now on, your focus got to be NRP. We can't afford to lose this. We cannot afford another five years of this level of mismanagement. No, or else we're gonna have to apologize so for our kids to come. We're gonna have to apologize to the next generation because what we build now ought to be something that we ought to be something that we give off to them as a legacy that they could continue to build on. So what that means, we are focused on sustainable development and we need every one of you here to make sure that you do your part. I am committed to doing my part and I tell you what, you see Cleon, she ain't easy you know. Cleon is not easy, St. Thomas is. Everything that she could get for you plus some, she's gonna make sure that you get it. Because I said before and I'll say again, that is a fighter you have right there in Cleon. And so don't think that you're not going to get the affordable houses. You're going to get your share. Don't think that when we have programs for the schools that you're not going to get your share. Cleon is going to make sure that you get your share. Don't think that when the small businesses get the relief that they've been asking for. And I know Cabo, you're the way around. Cabo has been agitating, trying to ask the government to be sensitive. Give them a little something to recover from the, the, the COVID. And up to tonight, he still has not received anything. So we are sensitive to that as well. So when Cleon is representing, you can be rest assured, you can rest assured that she's going to deliver for the small businesses as well. And then we have so much natural resource around. Dr. Janice Daniel Hodge is going to make sure that the fishermen, you don't have to worry about just coming out of your boat and swimming ashore. We're gonna have proper landing sites. So that is something that should really excite the people in Jessup's because we know Jessup to be a fishing village. So there's a lot that you have at stake right now. A lot at stake. And you cannot take it for granted. You cannot stay home and expect that it's gonna be delivered to you on a silver platter. You're gonna have to come out and claim what is yours? You're gonna have to claim what is yours because I can't do it alone. JD cannot do it alone. Cleon cannot do it alone. Janice cannot do it alone. And neither can Rohan as big as he is. He can't do it alone either. So, what we are appealing to you tonight to say to you is that as a collective group, you see how many are you here tonight? You see how many are you here tonight? I tell you, we could rent a crowd to them. Because the one and two people who follow in them, nobody will bother with them. So it means that this is our election. This is our election to win.
see how many of you here tonight. And you know, they probably have some spy in the group right now. Trying to go back to report who came tonight. But what? We don't care. We're going up, up, up. We ain't about it We're going up, up, up. Because the next stop, when we go to your castle tomorrow night, we're going to have war. This is just the start tonight. And I'm looking forward to seeing all of you tomorrow night. Because it's, the bus is just now rolling out. The bus is just now rolling out. Painted green. And we green and ready. We're ready to take this thing. So we're going to have to start paying attention. Those of you who are charged with responsibility of making sure that the list, the list, I tell you people, the list, pay attention. Pay attention, and if you see people on the list who ain't belong to St. Thomas's, make sure you say something and say something early. And as they used to say, you got to mark a man. So tonight, I'm enlisting all of you to make sure you start to do your part. They can't do you nothing. Mark a man, mark a woman, mark whoever you want to mark. I am, no, I'm not sexist. I'm saying mark somebody and make sure that this election here is not stolen from us because we know what's going on. Every opportunity they get, they lie to you. They lie to you as if they think that you ain't went to school too. So guess what? If they lie to you, the next thing they're going to do is what? They're going to teach from you. And so you have to be mindful that you're going to keep your eyes on the prize. And so on December 12th, we're going to deliver, and we're going to deliver for NRP. Mm -hmm. So what you say? Everybody ready? Everybody ready? St. Thomas, is you ready? St. James, is you ready? St. George, is you ready? St. Paul, is you ready? And I know that the people of St. John's, I know we're ready. We're going to take this. We're going to take this. And I'm depending on you to make sure that I'm, I'm depending on you to make sure that on December 13th, we are on the motorcade. We ain't leaving nobody behind. Everybody can join us because already they, say, they used to think they have the momentum. What they got now? They ain't got a thing. And I say, we have the momentum. We already took it from them. And it's not their word. We have the momentum and we're going to use it. Because the next stop is tomorrow night over in Newcastle. And I want to see all of us over there to support Janice Daniel Hodge. Do you agree with me that Patricia is ready? Yeah. She sound ready? Yeah. And she look ready? You know, when she said that, I remember this song, whenever you see people, whenever you see people, everything, everything Patricia do, the fella want to do. There used to be an old time song say, everything I do, me monkey do. And so, brothers and sisters, she reminds us that we have to go to vote. She reminds us to pay attention to the list. And she reminds us that our mission is up, up, up. And so, I say to you, brothers and sisters, when I see the candidates of the Nevis Reformation Party, I tell myself, that the sights and sounds of the future are arriving with the Nevis Reformation Party. The sights and sounds of the future are arriving with the Nevis Reformation Party. The sights and sounds of the future are arriving with the Nevis Reformation Party. And so I say to you, what you drinking? What you eating? What you thinking? What you believe in? Where you going? What you cooking? 
All right, I got you. Now, what you wearing? What you praying about? What you praying about? What you wearing? Okay, God, I just want to make sure that you remember these things. Brothers and sisters, Rohan tells us that St. Thomas is, is sure ground. And so when we come to St. Thomas's, we say a two line from a song, Blessed Assurance. Blessed Assurance, St. Thomas is mine. Of course. So brothers and sisters, we're not making joke in St. Thomas's. We are going to call the warrior named Cleon Stapleton to come to speak to you. So bring the warrior for St. Thomas's and welcome her with a rousing round of applause because she is on sure ground in St. Thomas's. Music man, bring some music. Let's hear, make some noise for Cleon. Reformation Party. Jessup, I'm so happy to be with you this evening. I am so happy, but my feeling is somewhat mixed. Because when I look across and I see Papa in, not in person, but his picture, and I'm talking about the great Carlton Tyson. Yes, yes. Oh, how we miss him this evening. <laughs> so, Jessops, I want to say to you that we have lost many of our fallen soldiers. So, therefore, this election is important to us in St. Thomas's because we must do this one for great Jesopians like Papa Carlton Tyson, the beloved twin sister of our dear Tamara Farrell, Miss Nan Farrell. We cannot ever forget our soldiers. So NRP, we come to you this evening to present you, yes, 
and our dear Billy O'Loughlin, another papa. We cannot forget our soldiers, my good friends, our angels. So we come here this evening with a message, a message that Cleon is here. NRP is here to take St. Thomas's and Nevis forward. Yes, let us take a minute of silence just in honor of our fallen soldiers. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jessops, I want to say to you this evening that the NRP is here. Cleon is here and we are green and ready. Now, some people have been saying that on their platform that Cleon is fearful because for the first time, St. Thomas is talking about they have to defend. I want to correct them. I want to correct them because in St. Thomas's, we are never scared. Never scared. But indeed, we have to defend because there are some things that are taking place in our country that we do not like. So we have to stand up, St. Thomas's. We have to stand up like soldiers in an army. And we have to come to the people of Nevis and present them with an alternative because what they have now has failed, failed the people of Nevis. And we can't forget. We can't ever allow ourselves to forget. So when you hear them talking now, talking about they coming with plans, I heard somebody who they say, supposed to run in St. Thomas's for the other side, that she's the first to present plans. Well, where has she been living? Is it not in St. Thomas's? I want to say to the good people of Jessops, the good people of St. Thomas's, and the good people of Nevis, that NRP don't just give plans. We deliver. We perform. We execute. How can anybody from St. Thomas's, born and raised, have the audacity to ever say that for the first time, St. Thomas's is being presented with plans? It is an insult to us. We are accustomed to performance in St. Thomas's. We can never, ever forget Joseph Parry and his administration. I am in the home of Victor J. Martin, and I am told that he's in Nevis. He's up here in Jessops, born and raised. And so I said to him, good evening. Mr. Parry is somewhere in the crowd. I said to him also, good evening, because you see St. Thomas's, we have a history of people who came with plans and who delivered for the people of St. Thomas's. We can boast of roads. We can boast of community centers. We can boast of economic development right here in St. Thomas's. We can boast of four seasons because of Dr. Simeon Daniel and the Nevis Reformation Party. Okay, 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 okay. So when they come to you and they tell you, oh, they're coming with plans for the first time, tell them, please go back where you come from. Go back where you come from because clearly, 
clearly, you did not learn and you clearly don't know anything about the parish that you were born and raised in. Maybe, maybe my dear friends, they were too busy doing other things. But my dear friends, as we come here, as I come here to talk to you this evening, I want to say to you that Cleon and the Nevis Reformation Party, we intend to transform St. Thomas's. Because you see my friends, you see my friends, I want you all to understand something, you know. St. Thomas's has once again been neglected by CCM. And I want to tell you that it is deliberate. You know why? Because now you hear them coming saying, oh, don't vote to Cleon because she cannot do anything for you in opposition. You need someone in the cabinet to be able to do something for St. Thomas's. You all ever hear anything worse than that? But I want to say to you, my dear friends, just look at my record for the past two years. I have done more in St. Thomas's than the CCM government. The good people of Cotton Gown cannot forget. You cannot forget the state of the Cotton Gown Playfield, the state of the wall. I championed, I went into Parliament and I spoke about it. I spoke about it on social media, on the legendary show. And you know, my friends, they came and fixed part of the wall. Yeah. Only part of it. That's all they can afford to give to St. Thomas's people. Pieces and partiality. They can't give us nothing complete. So I want to say to you, when they come to you, ask them, where is your record in St. Thomas's? Ask them. I want you to ask the federal representative, what have you done since being elected as a federal candidate in St. Thomas's? Absolutely nothing. My good friends, I want you to remember and never forget in June 2020, when I made my debut in the parliament of the Nevis Island administration, we were in the heart of a pandemic. You all can't forget because I stood alone. You are not allowed to come in. And in my presentation, I made an appeal to the government that we have to look at the economic fallout of COVID-19 on this beloved country. I went further. I said, listen, guys, we need to implement an economic task force. It is needed. You must focus on the economy. What did they say? They laugh. They laugh. They literally laugh. And look at the state of our economy now. St. Thomas's people do not forget. You cannot afford to forget. And I am here to remind you, rather than putting the necessary structure in place to assist the economy and help the economy to grow, the Honorable Premier, the Honorable Premier used your money, taxpayers' money, to select an advisor, appoint, sorry, an advisor with special concentration on St. Thomas's. For the people who were laid off from Four Seasons, who live in St. Thomas's, for those of you who did not get your severance, I want you to always remember the federal government sent budgetary support to Nevis and part of that money, a whopping $200,000 plus, was paid to appoint someone to be a special advisor to St. Thomas's. We tell them we need one? We tell them we need one? What have they done for you, the good people of St. Thomas's? Absolutely nothing. But the money that was spent could have been monies that could have been used to pay persons their severance at an earlier time. 
Money is to help the people who are suffering, who had no outlet. During those times, don't forget, it's clear on you start driving around with Tammy, providing food for the people of St. Thomas's. You can't afford to forget. The history is dear, the record is dear. Go back, look at it. These people do not care about the people in St. Thomas's. They want to come to use us. But we know better in St. Thomas's, so I have no fear. So tell them, I say, we stand firm and strong in St. Thomas's. Let them know that we are green and ready in St. Thomas's. And we are ready to stand up and fight against injustice, against corruption, and against abuse of our children here in St. Thomas's. Good night, Auntie Judy. I see you stand up to them two weeks ago. That is how fearless we are in St. Thomas's. We would not allow them to abuse and use us over here because they don't have any use for us. My good friends, I want to talk to you about something that is very, very important, not only to us here in St. Thomas's, but to the island of Nevis, and that is healthcare. And I want to touch health, you know why? Because this year, and over the past two years, it hit home for us in St. Thomas's. We have lost a lot of our families and our friends and our soldiers, all because of lack of adequate health care. And we can't afford to allow that to continue. So the NRP is here. The NRP is here once again to rescue the people of St. Thomas's and the people of Nevis. <laughs> Now my good colleague Jerry outlined the plan, the health plan. We know that we have to complete the extension. We know that. And the reason why we know, because on December 12th, the next government will be a Nevis Reformation Party government. But I want to say to you that we will go further than that because that is just the infrastructure. We intend to bring state-of-the-art training to our nurses and doctors and emergency care personnel. That is what we will do for the good people of Davis when it comes to health care. As we reflect on the issue of dialysis and renal failure, it is a problem. It is a big problem and it has to be addressed. But my dear friends, NRP started. NRP had the plan. So when you hear them coming talking about all of a sudden they have plans, they can't have more plans and ideas than NRP. I see Dr. Daly right in the audience this evening. That's an idea bank for the Nevis Reformation Party. We have ideas, we have always presented ideas and plans. So when you hear people coming to you, as they were on social media this morning telling you, oh, NRP is only costing them. Who got time with that? We don't worry about them. We don't pass them. We're moving forward. We don't pass them long time. We are at the point, my good people of St. Thomas's, where we are ready. We are ready to serve you. We're just waiting for them to pack up and exit. Move out. Move out. Give us some space. Very say, step aside. Step aside. NRP needs to take over. Step aside. Move out. Because you see, my dear friends, we understand. We understand that we have to revamp and rejuvenate this economy. When we look at the economic state of Nevis, a whopping $500 million over that in budgetary support. And you can't see where the money went in Nevis. And people making excuses, mind you. Some people may say, oh, the money didn't come all at once. Does it matter? It came. And at the end of the day, the result, we can't see what 
this present government did with the money. Where is the money? Where is the activity? Where is the progress? So NRP is here. And we are saying to you that we are not just coming to govern. You have heard from my colleagues already. We are not just here to form a government. We are here to build Nevis. We are here to bring progressive development to the island of Nevis. We understand. Just imagine from since 1991, we have not had a major five-star five hotel on the shores of Nevis. That is insane. When we look at development in our sister island, St. Kitts, how it's moving in terms of tourism and economic activity, we are saying no longer can we be left behind. So we have to stand up. We have to stand up and we have to fight and we have to defend Nevis. We are tired. DJ play my song, man, because we're tired. We are tired. I say we tired. Oh Lord. And our people, if you're tired, it's time for you to show it. I say we tired, and we tired, and we tired, and we tired, and we can't get it again. I'm on me tired, and we tired, and we tired, and we tired, and we can't get it again. So we moving forward. Because we are so tired, my good people, we have to move forward. We have to move forward with the progressive agenda that NRP has. We want to reintroduce the program where we can provide every single home in Nevis with at least two university graduates. We have done it before and we can do it again. When we look at the primary schools across the island, they need renovations. Some people say they're bringing a school to St. Thomas's, but my friends don't be fooled because if they can't even do minor renovations at the St. Thomas's primary school during their tenure, tenure in government, how can they now come to tell you they're going to build a school? Come on, people, wake up, do not be fooled. Those are just election gimmicks. If they cared, they would have gone over there and tiled the kitchen in the St. Thomas's primary school. We have to do these things. We are committed to doing them. Yes, they may run and go tomorrow to do it, and we welcome it. Because our children need and deserve it. So let them go tomorrow go tile the school. I am saying to you, my dear friends, that we have to stop believing in this failed government. It is time for a change. Our people in St. Thomas's and Nevis and the whole, we deserve better. We need better. I have said time and time to you again, CCM has nothing more to offer. They have climbed max. They have reached their peak, so there's nothing more to look for. Rather than coming to you with solid plans like the NRP is doing, all they're telling you, oh, NRP cussing them. We're, we don't have time for it. We don't have time for it, but we will hold them accountable. Accountable for their incompetence and their failures. We must hold them accountable. So my dear friends, we are on a mission. We are on a mission to take Davis to a new direction. We have to elevate you. We have to elevate the good people of Nevis. We are not here to elevate some, but we are going to do so by hard work and honest means. We are going to build you. You are going to see elevation. We are going to bring stronger communities. We are going to bring stronger homes, and we are definitely going to bring stronger families here in St. Thomas's. That is what we can do. That is our record. Ask them about me in building strong families. We're capable. We are capable. Ready. Green and ready to serve and serve the good people of St. Thomas's. My friends, we are not going to leave anybody behind. We are here for our fishermen. You would have heard Rohan say that the good leader, Dr. Janice Daniel, she is into fishing. 
She is into fishing in a major way. That is her life. And so I can tell you she's passionate and energized about that. And St. Thomas is the fisherman because she has a comprehensive plan for Nevis. You will not left be, be left behind. We are here. We are ready. We are get ready to give you the aid that you need. We understand the issue. My husband is a fisherman. I know a little about fishing. I understand his needs. I understand when he has to pay $300 to take his boat out of the water. We are saying that it is time for us to have a landing dock. We have to make it easier for our fishermen. We are saying that our fishing fishermen at the respective fishing sites, they need electricity. They need storage facilities. Jessup Bay, Kangong Bay, they need it. These are things that we intend to do to empower our fishermen. When we look at Jessup's, and Jessup's have a lot of small businesses, we are standing here by Mr. Farrell's gas station. We are standing here opposite Culturama Bar, and Miss Keith have our little snack it over there. Jessup is a place that is filled with economic activity. And yes, we have Jane over there in her mobile business. My dear friends, there are over 30 small businesses right here in this little village of Jessup's. Some of you may not know that, but our people are a people who are accustomed to invest their time and energy in giving back to the community. And so we want to help them. We want to help them because we understand they are struggling because of the lack of economic activity here in Nevis, our small businesses, they are stifling. And so we have to assist them, my dear friends. And we will assist them. No doubt about that. My friends, when I look at St. Thomas's on a whole, when I look at the beautiful village of Barnsgut, hometown of our beloved brother Rohan Isles, and sir, Dr. Simeon Daniel of blessed memory. When I look at the fact, when you're going up to Barnsgut, the first thing that greets you now is a big 10 foot fence. I said, we must be hurting in St. Thomas's. You must be hurting in St. Thomas's because we did not see that land go to the good people of Barnsgut. We did not see any housing that land used for housing or any recreational activity. Instead, it was sold to a private investor. A private investor for a mere easy $8 per square foot. My friends, I want you to know that because there is a special advisor to the Premier of Nevis, we can only conclude that it must have been that advisor who advised the Premier that that land should go to a private investor. And my dear friends, I said that must hurt you tonight. That must hurt you, you must feel that to your core because that land could have been reserved at that price of eight easy dollars per square foot to the good people of Vansgott and the good people of St. Thomas's. But have no fear. Have no fear because we will fix that. So I commit to you, the good people of Jessops, Barnsgott, Cotton Ground, Westbury, Kersbeck, Clifton, NRP will find lands not only for housing for the people of St. Thomas's, but for our small farmers. We are going to give you that. That is a promise and we are committed to delivering. You know why? You know why, my dear friends? Because we are accustomed to deliver and to perform. That is our record, and we stand proudly behind it. So, my friends, I want to say to you this evening, have no fear. We are solid as a rock in St. Thomas's. We are green and ready. So let them bring all who they want to bring. Let them bring them. St. Thomas's will remain firm because we understand that we have been loyal to the Nevis Reformation Party for 52 years. 
So how then can we abandon NLP when the country now is ripe for a change? We can't do that, St. Thomas says. We will not do that. So I want to say to you this evening as I leave you, rest assured, rest assured that NRP will bring back the people of Nevis to a state where they can live comfortable. Where people no longer have to live paycheck to paycheck. We want people to enjoy life and to be able to breathe and to work hard. And so we have plans to invest in you. We have plans to invest in this country. We have plans to move St. Thomas's and Nevis forward in a new direction. So I want you to stay committed and loyal to us just as you have been. Because you see this fight for us here in St. Thomas's, we're not doing it for ourselves. We are doing it for our fallen soldiers. We are doing it for people like Papa here and Papa over there. But we have to remain committed to the cause. So on December 12th, and I have no fear, you know. I'm not overconfident, but I have no fear. Because I know the people of St. Thomas's will come out in their numbers. And their, their numbers are we coming out early. Before 12 o'clock, we must call this constituency NRP constituency. So we're coming out in our numbers. And we are going to vote out the CCM government. And we are going to bring a change, a change that Nevis so desire, a change that will bring prosperity and sustainability to the people of Nevis. So, my dear friends, I want you to stay committed, stay focused, focus on the prize, mark a man. We are going back to our militant ways of 2006. We're marking everybody. And my dear friends, if you know they don't live in St. Thomas's, they don't live in Jessup's, they don't live in Cordic Road, they're not living in Carrigan and the other areas, what I want to say to you, you know what to do. I'm not gonna incite, but you know what to do because school bus will come. It must come because we won't stand for no foolishness in St. Thomas's. The people of St. Thomas's are ready, they are committed, and they are willing to move forward with Cleon, and that is what we will do. So I say to you, my brothers and sisters, stand firm, stay focused, because we are green and ready. I thank you. No. Well, 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 St. Thomas's people, are you ready for Cleona? Well, only one thing I say. Cle Cleon says, Cleon says that the CCM save you, say that we cussing them. I agree with Cleo, we don't have to cuss them. What we will do, we bang them. We bang them already, and we gonna bang them again. We not gonna cuss them, we gonna bang them. So we gonna bang them. Yes. Yes. We gonna bang them, we bang them already, and we gonna bang them again. Brothers and sisters in Jessup's, just one reminder. All of you in Jessup's, when you go to vote, remember that Nyang Farrell could have been here with us if the government had instituted the dialysis machine. So you remember that when you go to vote, we must hang that because.
Laws, brothers and sisters, negligence must cost the government, incompetence must cost the government. And I want you, the people of Jessup's, to remember that this young sister could have been here with us had it not been for the rank stupidity of the government. That is what I said to you. Brothers and sisters, it's time for the leader of the Nevis Reformation Party. And so, brothers and sisters, she is going to come down in Butler's, come down in Brick Hill, come down in Newcastle, come down in Camp, and bust them in Fountain. She is going to come down for them. And brothers and sisters in the north of Nevis, we are going to bring the political leader of the Nevis Reformation Party. And as I say, the sights and sounds of the future, the sights and sounds of the future are arriving with the Nevis Reformation Party. to Nevis. I sat here tonight and I listened to my colleagues and I said I am so proud to be the humble leader of this NRP team because we are going to deliver we are going to deliver to you what you have been waiting for for the last seven years. Now You've heard the rumblings all night. You've heard the gains with canes in number one. You heard about the man with the plan. You heard about the doc with the prescription. You heard about Queen Cleon. And when I listened to them, I said, Nevis, we are ready. We are ready to make Nevis nice again. We must make Nevis nice again. This is the time. This is the time. And when we look, when we look at where Nevis is today, and we look at where Nevis was, we must say it is time to get rid of them people who do not understand what it means to govern Nevis. And I am here tonight. I am here tonight. They say I'm the calm one in the group. The calm after the storm. Because when my colleagues come and they tell you about the plans, you need the calmness to make sure that we will deliver. We must be focused and we will ensure that the people of Nevis would be proud to be Nevisians once again. Why am I here tonight? Why am I here tonight? I never planned to be a politician based on what we see and know politicians to be. But when you grow up, understanding what it is to make sacrifices for the benefit of others. And when you go up understanding that when people struggle, when you know that what you can do for yourself, you must do for others. And when you understand what it is to have empathy, and you understand it's not about your own self. I grew up around my father who hailed from this great parish of St. Thomas's. This great parish of St. Thomas's. And he's a man who made sacrifices 
left himself undone to help others. He taught me what it was to understand the love of country, not love of self. And so, when we look at when NRP was birthed out of the struggles of Nevis, and we see the struggles that our people are going through right now, those of us who have a heart and who have compassion, we must rise. We must rise because we cannot sit. We cannot sit and be complicit and see our people struggle and not respond to the cries. We are here tonight because a politician has a responsibility to represent your people. And we have seen for the last seven years no representation. We have seen for the last seven years, it was not country above self, it was self above country. And we have seen for the last seven years, we, our beloved Nevis has moved on a downward spiral. And we are saying we cannot continue that way. And so when my colleagues say, Janice, you care. I come to you tonight and I ask you, the people of Nevis, the people of St. Thomas's, to remember what it was like when you had leadership and representatives who cared about the people and not about themselves. Not about themselves. And this is a time that we are saying Nevis deserves the representation of the Nevis Reformation Party. We deserve that representation. And I'm saying to you tonight, your Nevis Reformation Party, we stand committed. We came not because we wanted to fill pockets. We heard, we heard about skirts and lipstick and mascara. And I say to you tonight, when Queen Cleon said that we're green and ready, I want to say to you, we are green and ready, and we are green and clean. We are green and clean. And that is what Nevis, that is what our Nevis needs right now. When I heard Cleon speak about the wall, and we talk about the different projects that we would want to advance, and we see them come, and they try to deliver. But you cannot deliver what you did not conceive. And you cannot deliver a project that is to benefit others when your interest is about benefiting yourself. And we are saying we must understand that there is a fundamental difference between the copycat, the concerned citizens movement, and the Nevis Reformation Party that stands always and always will for the benefit of the people and not for ourselves. We have seen, we have seen when we speak of representation, we have seen the tricks that have been played. We have seen how our people have suffered because they would have listened and it sounded good. And we thought we would give them a try. And you know what? The, the, the late Vance Amory would have given someone a chance. My dear father of blessed memory would have given someone a chance because they believed that it sounded good and this person must have a good heart. But we have come to realize how many times, how many times are you going to speak and make promises and not deliver and really believe that the people of Nevis are going to believe this time again? As my good colleague Wohan would say, not this time, not this time. This is a time for NRP to regain our government and show the people of Nevis what it is to have a government that cares. And so when my colleague says, Janice cares, Janice cares. I am here tonight because I care about my people. I care about the people 
the single mothers who struggle want to be able to have their own home and they get the home but they cannot afford it. They have to work two and three jobs in order to pay for that home. It is not a caring government that just to be able to say we have a housing development and we provide a home for a single mother, that that is sufficient. We must care that that single mother is able to maintain the home. And we must be able to understand that providing homes without job opportunities is a re recipe for disaster. And we are saying to you, NRP, we understand what affordable housing means. We understand that as a government, we must do what is necessary to cut out all of the middlemen. All of the middlemen who have a contract to do this and a contract to do this and a contract to do that ends up where you have to pay the higher prices. And we are saying, we listen to the people, we listen to the cries, and we are saying affordable housing in Nevis is not affordable, and that is something that your NRP government would address to ensure that our single mothers no longer have to struggle. We, our single mothers would no longer have to struggle because affordable housing is something that we know NRP would have brought the program where you could have bought an acre of land for $6,000. Imagine what you're paying for housing right now. It is not about an opportunity for your representatives to put money in their pockets. Affordable housing is something that we would want to do in order to empower our people and to provide opportunities for you. Now, as far as we look at representation, we must understand, when I came here and the song says, Nevis first. Nevis first because Nevis is the first priority of the Nevis Reformation Party. Nevis is the first priority of the Nevis Reformation Party. And so when we speak about representation for Nevis, we would expect that when you go down to St. Kitts and you have the chance on a card in your pocket, you would ensure that the fair share was negotiated. You would not go to St. Kitts and come back with it. And the only means by which you feel that the people of Nevis can get their fair share is by mashing up the government. We do not believe in mashing up governments. We do not believe in mashing up governments. We believe that together we are stronger. And we want Nevis to be in a position where our brothers and sisters in St. Kitts can look across to Nevis and feel secure, understanding that there is a trustworthy government in Nevis. We do not want, we are over in St. Kitts, they have to keep looking over their shoulders. Looking over their shoulders because we have seen we are the labor government taken to task. Honorable Denzel Douglas, he knows what it is to have a motion of no confidence hanging over his head. Timothy Harris, former Prime Minister, Honorable. Imagine in December, someone can tell you how great you are. This is the best that we have ever seen. And by February, he's the worst person. I am saying, I am saying, the people of Nevis deserve to have a government that is trustworthy and can build long-lasting relationships, not just with our government in St. Kitts, but across the region. I'm saying to you, I am saying to you that this is the time. We have seen where in St. Kitts the change has been made. Long before, long before, NRP stated that change must come to this country if this country is going to be progressive and move forward. We have seen the change taking place in St. Kitts. And we know, we know that the change 
will take place in Nevis. If I could sing. If, if I could sing, I would sing Sam Cook. Change going to come. Change going to come. This is the time. This is the time when we must recognize and we must understand that it is not just the candidates that have work to do. We know that our people for many years have taken the right to vote for granted. We cannot afford to take that right for granted in this upcoming election. We cannot afford to take that right for granted. And so each one of you who are here tonight and who are listening would understand that if you do not come out on election day, early out to vote them out, we know, we know that when the plain loads come in and we have not already voted, we are going to wonder. We are going to wonder what happens. And so I'm saying to you, I am saying to you, this is the time when you must understand that Nevis is at a crossroads. Our children are graduating from schools and there are no job opportunities. Our patients are getting sick and the health service is not providing the care that is needed. We understand that the young men who are trying so hard to take care of their families, but they're struggling, no job opportunities. We are saying, we are saying it is very easy to speak about trying to make food security, for example, a buzzword. When you look, for example, at the Minister of Agriculture, the Minister of Fisheries, at the federal level and the local level, and we hear the farmers complaining about the monkeys and how it is so difficult for them to farm and nothing has been done. When we look at our fishers who have to go to sinkets to purchase the necessary equipment at a cheaper price than it is in Nevis, we must ask, where is the representation? And we are saying, we understand. When you look at the NRP candidates, and when you look at the service that we have provided, before getting into government, you would understand that we are here to serve. We are here to serve you, because we understand what it means. It is very clear to us that some on the other side do not understand what it means to serve. Do not understand what it means to serve, and so they serve themselves. We have listened, we have listened to people who say, do this one for Malcolm, do this one for Vance, do this one because Sim Daniel said this. They can never say, do this because of what I have done for you. And we are saying, NRP tonight, we must say, come out to the polls and vote. We are going to do this one for Nevis. We are doing it for Nevis. We have seen, we have seen the struggles. We have seen the poor representation. We have seen those who have enriched themselves while we continue to struggle. Let me ask you, a promise was made that by November 30th, you would get what? Did anybody get the honorarium today? Did anybody get the honorarium today? And imagine, imagine if that promise cannot be kept at this point in time, you must know that there's really no creative thinking as to how to ensure that our people can get a paycheck in their pocket. We must understand. We must understand. Fool me once, you can't fool me twice. Fool me once, you can't fool me twice. And nobody can point to what has happened to the $500 million. No. When we speak about representation, we must look at accountability. We must understand 
that if $500 million came to Nevis, how are we benefiting? We say, when you get money, you must invest it so that the money can work for you. You must not bury it in rows and walls that you have no mandate to build walls. So why all of the $500 million is in roads and walls, and as somebody said, in their pockets? We must understand. We must understand that where we are right now, in the tourist season, in the rainy season, there is an urgency all of a sudden to build the St. James's Road. Build the St. James's Road. But the question must be asked. Anybody can go to the bank and get $11 million to build the road in the rush. So if you knew it was going to require a loan, why wait until now? Why wait until now? And we are saying, we are saying, you fool the people of Nevis before, it's not going to happen again. And as my good colleague Wohan would say, not this time. We are not going to be fooled again. And so I'm saying to you, understand, understand that the opportunity is now. We have seen, based on how the world is moving, we have seen that we need to be able to respond to the challenges of this world. And we have seen the global shift that requires the perspectives and the thinking of women. And you're seeing more and more women in leadership position. And when NRP pioneered and came out, I must say thank you to my NRP family who took the courage and elected me as the first female leader of a major political party in St. Kitts and Nevis. And I must say thank you to my NRP family. And when our NRP family recognized it is not about a friend, it is about who has the capacity and the ability to deliver for Nevis. And so when we have made those changes and recognized Dr. Patricia Bartlett, the premier says, uh, he cousin, and he going to vote for her. They did not recognize the value and the potential, but we know that Dr. Patricia Bartlett is going to make him sing for his supper. He's going to sing for his supper. And guess what? It was not by accident that Dr. Patricia Bartlett is the candidate in the constituency too, because we sat and we recognize what is happening, the game before us. And each of our candidates, when you look at them in their respective constituencies, you would see that they are perfectly matched. They are perfectly matched to ensure that once elected to government, the people of Nevis would have the representation that is required. We went up, we went up to constituency number three. And they said, well, well where, where is Rohan going? Rohan from St. Thomas's. They didn't, they didn't expect, they didn't expect to see the rumble and to feel the rumble that he brought to Gingerland. Never expected it. Because you see, it is not about self-serving. It is about representing your people. And when Rohan speaks about the humanity and the compassion that he has for serving his people. Doesn't matter where in Nevis he is, he will represent and provide for the people in his constituency. So, they think, they think we're going to be scared and, and try to follow their pattern. But you hear what his song said? Janice no follow people. Janice no follow people. We sit and we strategize. And that is why we're here tonight and they're trembling. They're trembling because they did not expect what they're seeing tonight. And it has some people. They say, they say I, I came from wherever I came from, right? What I can say to you, wherever I went, near or far, the blood in my veins are from right here. Right here in St. Thomas's. 
And what you have in your blood, what you have in your vein, you can't buy it. You can't buy it. And so I am saying, the compassion and the care that I brought over into St. James's, and when I said it doesn't matter how long St. James's was blue, St. James's was going to be green on December 12th. St. James's is going to be green on December 12th. St. James's is going to be green because the people in St. James's understand that Janice cares. Janice cares. And so all that I would have done, even before having the idea of trying to serve on a much larger scale, the people understand. And when people said, well, Janice, St. James, this is blue, and, and you're the leader, it's not going to look good for the leader to not win the seat. So, well, which leader are they talking about? Which leader are they talking about? Which leader, when you said that CCM is invincible and CCM cannot lose, this leader came forward and said, I will lead the way. I will lead the way at NRP when we gain the throne once again. I said that. And so I'm in St. James's. I am in St. James's. And St. James's is going to be green because the people of St. James's know what it is when somebody cares. The people in St. James is know what it is when they have been neglected. When people run and hide and say, too much people have begged me. Too much people have begged me when they get a constituency allowance from the federal government, from the local government. They are on the Housing and Land Development Board. They are the manager of the quarry. All kind of money they have. Only one or two people can work. And I am saying, they have neglected, and I am here because I care. I care, and I will deliver to the people of St. James's what they have been looking for, for all of these years. I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you tonight, it is about compassion, and it's about caring. And when you're going to listen to someone who says, take money and vote against them, I'm asking all of you, when they come, when they come and they try to pay you your own money that they took from you in taxes after taxes, when they come and they try to give you money, tell them, tell them, we want jobs. We want a future. We don't want you to give us our money today that you took from us. We want to be able to earn. We want to be able to earn our own money. And so I'm saying to you tonight, NRP. NRP is a party that understands what it is to empower others. NRP is a party that understands it is not about us. The pride that we get and the joy that we get is from seeing others prosper. And when we look at right here in St. Thomas's, the Lowland uh, Community Foundation, that was established to help empower others. When you look over in Newcastle, the Newcastle Bay Foundation, that was established to help empower others. When you look across NRP, we understand our community groups are very important. And I will tell you one of the things that we want to ensure is that all of our community groups are empowered and work with government in order to do the things that government cannot do. And so we're not going to ignore our community groups. We will empower them. And so tonight I say to you, tonight I say to you, the eyes and, and the balls. <laughs> tonight I say to you, this opportunity that will come to you on December 12th, it is not going to come again. There's no second chances. They're going to try their tricks. They're going to try their tricks. But guess what? Guess what? It is not going to work this time. It is not going to work this time. It is up to us. It is up to us to come out and vote to make that difference. And so, must be early on. And so, and so, I said to you, I said to you, this is the time 
for us to do what we can do. Take that responsibility to come out and be a part of the change. Because on December 13th, when you see the big green truck driving through Nevis, you want to be, you want to be, you want to be a part of that change. You want to be a part of that change. And I am telling you, I am telling you tonight, I have the fullest confidence that the gains with Keynes is going to put J.D. Keynes straight to Parliament. I'm telling you, number one, Keynes, Keynes is going to be victorious. I'm telling you, when we go to number two, when you go to number two, when you go to number two, I am telling you, I am telling you, you hear, you, you, you hear, going up hill is not easy, right? Going up hill is not easy. But you know what pressure does? You know what pressure does? You know what pressure does? Them pipe up in number two going bus. They going bus. And number two, in number two, Dr. Bartlett going to give you the only, the only one term premier in Nevis because they cannot perform. They cannot perform. And in number two, time to go home. And we go up to number three. We're going up to number three. And those who say, if you ain't got work, no, you never get no work again. In number three, the plans the plans that Rohan Eyes has for up in number three, you must understand. The force, the pressure coming up from number two, you must know in number three, people are going to understand what it is to have a representative that cares. Have a representative that cares. In number four, in number four, I, I, Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip number four for now. I'm gonna skip number four for now. Let me, let me, let me come around to number five. Let me come around to number five because you know what? You know something about number five? We say, you know, when you touch the hearts of people, when you touch the hearts of people, that is what really people would respond to. So in number five, right? In number five, you have. Rohan Isles. No, he's not running number five. But his family and everybody here in number five, who do you think they're going to vote for? Not for NRP? When you look at my family here in number five, who do you think they're going to vote for? <laughs> and, and, and when you look at Queen Cleone, as we say, Queen Cleone, who has no fear. Queen Cleone has no fear. And I tell you, I will tell you something. I have listened, I have listened to some ministers speak. And I'm telling you, I love my candidates. I love my team. And I keep saying, when I say Janice no follow people, right? You hear all kind of rumors. Oh, this happened in NRP, that happened in NRP. We look like we're scared. We look like we ain't what we're doing. The more the causes, the more we get stronger. The stronger we get. So they can't come and set no trap. Set no trap and think that they're going to come and break up NRP. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And when they want to go and kick the leader into the gates of hell, I know none of my colleagues are going to kick me in the gates of hell. None of my colleagues are going to do that. And I'm going to tell you. I am going to tell you tonight, I'm going to tell you tonight, I am so proud of my NRP colleagues, of our fellow candidates. And you know why? Because when you see us have an issue to discuss, and we sit and we go back and forth and back and forth, it is only for your best interest. It's only for your best interest. And I can tell you, NRP is not going to be one person making the decisions. It's not going to be one person making decisions. 
So when people say, the leader, the leader, me follow the leader, so nobody else can have a good idea? Nobody else can have a good idea? And that is why Nevis is where Nevis is. No, because one person who has no ideas want to be telling everybody what to do. It is time for change. It is time for change. It is time for change. We do not want, we do not want an island where we have secrets after secrets. Something is happening at the airport and we do not know what is happening. Something is happening over at Potworks, we do not know what's happening at Potworks. And we are saying, enough of that. When you have secrets like that and you're representing people, what does that say to you? We want transparency. We need to be able to have public meetings and people know what is going on. And I'm saying, I am saying, in my background, I have done a lot of work in development and assessments. And I know what it is to get a project from beginning to end. From beginning to end. You read my mind. And so we are saying on the NRP, just to talk about something and put it on the ground, that is not good enough. We believe, we believe that we must bring back the pride and the joy that the people of Navis once had. We must bring that back. And so we are saying, NRP is going to make Nevis nice again. NRP is going to make Nevis nice again because we understand and we care. We have a vision and we would ensure it is not about us. It is about you and what you want. How can we help you? My good colleague Gohan will say, how may I help you? And I'm saying, NRP, the Nevis Reformation Party, will bring about the change. We will make Nevis nice again. And we would ensure, we would ensure that all of you understand what it is to be proud and to feel what it is to be cared for and what it is to have the type of representation where people would listen to you. And I'm saying, you will get that. If on December 12th, you come out early, come out early, you make that X. And I'm saying to you, it can happen. And it will happen. And change must come because we fed up, we fed up. And I'm saying to you, it is time for number one, JDK, number two, Dr. Patricia Bartlett, number three, Rohan Ives, number four, yours truly, and in number five, your queen, Cleon Stapleton Simmons. I can assure you, I can assure you that when Cleon bring her plans, when Cleon bring her plans to cabinet, what do you think is gonna happen? Who, you, who do you think is going to say, oh no, that's not good for St. Thomas's. So I'm saying, you have a team in NRP that would look out for the best interest of Nevis, that would look out for the best interest of Nevis, and I'm saying to you, if it's one thing you leave here tonight understanding, it is you who have to go out and make that X. I only have one X. The candidates only have one X. You all must encourage your brother and your sister and your mother and your uncle and everybody to come out. Come out. This is the time. This is the only time. After this time, we do not know. We have the opportunity. Let's do it this time. And so, I say to you, Nevis, our first priority. Change must come if we're going to make Nevis nice again. My people, thank you very much. Thank you. I see you tomorrow, tomorrow, I see you in your castle at 7 o'clock. See you in the castle. Everybody, thank you. Good night. Get home safely. Thank you. Well, 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 well. The people of, of Nevis, all of you are here, you get enough till tomorrow? You have gotten enough 
from the candidates. And so you will join us tomorrow in Newcastle at Arlene's shop. Just one thing. Janice says that the fellow in number two, Patricia is making sure that he got to sing for his supper. We in St. John say no matter how long he sing and how hard he sing, he not getting no supper up there. He don't eat enough already. He don't get in enough supper. Don't get enough. So no matter how he sing, not getting no more supper up there. And so we bring, we bring the meeting to a close on one thing. I just want to remind you and I want to hear from you. Tomorrow night, tell me starts at 6.30 and then the broadcast of the, the, the public meeting starts at 8 o'clock. So listen to tell me at 6 o'clock, 6.30 tomorrow. After here, they have karaoke, which is carry your own key over at, over at Cotton Ground. So things are happening. Brothers and sisters, as we go, let us remember in number one is J.D. Keynes. In number two is Patricia Bartlett. Number three is Rohana Hills. Number four is Janice. And number five is Cleone. And so, who you voting for? Who you voting for? What you cooking? What you wearing? What you praying for? Who you looking for? Where you putting the vote? What you eating? What you cooking? Where you walking going? Where you jumping the bus going? Where you going on the boat to go? All right. And so tomorrow, where you going? Tomorrow, what happening in your castle? All right. See you in your castle tomorrow. Get home safe and have a great evening. <laughs>